Thanks to Kavar Jewelers, we do have the Monkey King Oris Aquis. And look at that beautiful packaging. And yes, you do get the legendary cudgel or staff right there. Take it out. And there is the weapon, the red and gold weapon. And it feels like it's made out of wood. That's pretty strong. All right. And here is the box. It's a beautiful dark blue with that gold Sun Wukong monkey. And you can see the staff spinning around there. Very nice. All right. Introducing the Oris Aquis Monkey King Limited Edition. This one has 2,000 units. And I know it's going to make a lot of people happy based on the 16th century novel Journey to the West. One of the four great classic novels from Chinese literature. And this watch in particular is celebrating 60 years of the animated film from 1961, The Monkey King Uproar in Heaven. Putting the legendary Monkey King staff on an Oris Aquis was a great idea. I know he got his staff from the Eastern Sea. It makes sense. 300 meters of water resistance scalloped out signed screw down crown with clutch system. And it does have the modular crown guards that you can remove if damaged and replaced. So very nice. Now we do have that trademark kettlebell case shape of the Aquas and it's completely brushed on the sides and the brushing is very well done. High polish on the top of the lugs that transitions nicely down to the bracelet. This is an integrated bracelet style watch. It's going to wear smaller than its size indicates. Now let's listen to the bezel. All right, nice and clicky, well-defined, very little back play, a solid bezel throughout. Now these are the measurements that I got. 41.5 for the secret measurement, the bezel it does hang over just a bit. So the case is a little bit smaller at 40.4. Thickness, 12.9, including that double dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. No drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 48 even. Excellent size and it's going to wear smaller. You're going to see a macro of me wearing it and how it wears on my six and a half inch wrist. It wears more like a 40 mil diver, I would say, than a 41 and a half. The Oris bracelet is phenomenal. It's buttery smooth, well finished, and it articulates nicely. Screwed links, solid links, solid end links, fully milled clasp, signed, twin button release, very nice, and fully milled. And you do have a dive extension, three micro adjusts right there everything is solid oris bracelets remind me they do they remind me of rolex bracelets in feel the case back has the monkey king on there and the limited edition number is engraved back there so very nice now the bezel insert is ceramic so it's not gonna scratch and it has a different blue hue than the dial but it makes the dial pop because the dial is a bright vivid blue and it does change color a little bit where the staff is spinning. So the staff has some baby blue highlights, makes it look like his staff is spinning at high velocity. It's a cool effect. It's hard to pick up here, but when you hold it in real life and move it like how I'm moving it now, you can see that staff spinning as it catches the light. And of course, the seconds hand. The seconds hand is everything in this watch. Second hand is the actual weapon. <laughs> Look at that. It's absolutely awesome. It's just such a cool thing. I think I think they hit it out of the park. It's that beautiful gold. It looks a little bit more yellow on the watch. Yellow tip and red down the center. Against that beautiful blue dial, it just pops. Now we do have the traditional Ors Aquis robotic fingernails as the applied indices and the robotic thumb and index finger for the handset. And I love the blacked out date disc. If it was blue, I think it would blend in too much and disappear and be hard to read. But with the black, it blends in just enough and is still legible. So very nice. Now the price. This one comes in at 2,600 USD. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. And man, there's tons of bracelet. I can't adjust it because I don't own it. But it just looks so gorgeous, that blue. And you guys know I love blue dials. Look at that. 
I think 41 and a half is the perfect size for six and a half inch wrist. And if you're around my size, I think you're gonna agree. Okay, let's do the weight with all the links. 159, let's add his weapon. And 150, not, oh, 160. Let's check her out on the time grapher. Caliber 733 from Oris, Salida base, 26 joules, hacking, hand winding, automatic. Look at that amplitude, wow, 315. 38 hours of power reserve. So a little bit of a short one there, but wow, look at these numbers. Respectable, six, four, five in the fourth and final round, plus five. Okay, now we're gonna do 12 down to see the positional variance. Amplitude is still powerful, wow, 300. And the beat error, a little bit higher, 0 0.3. But look at the rate, plus four, plus five. Man, such a great movement. I know it's not in-house, so you can't brag, <laughs> but it's still a great Swiss movement. Six, and the fourth and final round, six. Okay, there is the loom shot. The Aquas has the strongest loom from Oris. Beautiful BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova. But it might not be the most punchiest in brightness, but it lasts long. The Oris Aquas has good longevity to it. Now, when you look down at your wrist and you see Sun Wukong's legendary staff, you're gonna be happy, especially if you're a fan of this classic Chinese literature and or maybe just a fan of the original anime in 1961, the one that this one celebrates the 60th anniversary. It has cool factor and it's an aqua, so you're getting a high quality piece. I think the price is all right. And you're getting the best size Aquas, the one in the middle, the sweet spot. So yes, this one is a go. Definitely, if you're on the fence and you're a fan of The Monkey King. By the way, I love the name. I love the name. Even if I didn't know anything about this show, this book, if I knew nothing and you tell me The Monkey King, that's just, that's just awesome. <laughs> All right. So big fan of it. Love the color. Love the staff seconds hand. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.